what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here soon talking about halloween ends in this video here again today jason blum seems to have added some fuels to some people in regards to anticipating when this teaser trailer whatever it will be will come out when we get our first look at the film there's already idea that we'll be getting something this month at CinemaCon, but a tweet recently was came out a couple days ago where he put out something initially and then was responded with uh, any update on Halloween Ends trailer or updates. So he stated soon in response to that. So what does soon mean? Well, again, going off of all the things that are going on this month, we know that Universal is supposed to have some type of panel at the CinemaCon event and that's going to take place on april 27th i believe and that's where a lot of us think that we will be getting our first look at the film so is that what this individual jason blum of course means by soon or is he saying soon as in you'll have an update soon and just in general of when you can expect the trailer because honestly the chances of it showing up at cinemacon this month they do seem kind of 50 50 right now of course most of why i guess you might start to believe it a little bit more is if you consider the 2018 film they did something similar as well where in april there was a cinema kind of event i believe jamie lee curtis was also the one who presented it and you know after that a lot of descriptions about what was shown in the footage was released online we saw that it was a positive reception to it and then we the public actually didn't get to see it until june so are we actually going to see for the first time in june or will they do something different this time and have the footage shown at CinemaCon and then a few days later have it released online and not wait many months after it's shown because the descriptions that were coming out were describing pretty much everything that was shown in the 2018 trailer when it actually got released in june and it seems like they might just be trying to follow a pattern that many people might not be picking up on if they do indeed show something in april at CinemaCon this month later this month and then drop the teaser in june that might be signs of a pattern being followed and then a lot more people will of course start to pick up on that jason blum's comments again all he said was soon but the fact that so many people are already thinking that we'll get to see what michael myers next rampage will look like this month at CinemaCon, this is just adding fuel to it for some people it may be something it may be nothing so if it actually happens then it happens what should we see in the teaser again like i said before i think they're going to do their hardest to try to just build this up as a big fight event where you have michael myers versus laurie strode and you need to come out and see this final encounter it's going to be epic it's going to be the biggest fat the biggest fight in haddonfield in recent memory they're going to just try to build it up like that they need to show some type of some type of cool appealing shot that would draw your attention in in relation to making this feel like a versus movie maybe because you know you're going to get that inevitable battle or encounter with michael and laurie in this movie we hope so i think you i think it would be smart on your end to show te to show glimpses of that and kind of build it up throughout the trailer don't necessarily show them touching but do a good job at building it up to create a big fight feel event and have your audience anticipate seeing these two touch which would again of course help you perform even better at the box office because this is a lovable iconic final girl in laurie strode and then you have a iconic lovable slasher villain in michael myers and we know the history these two share between each other this is a history that spans more than 40 years but it seems like it's going to be the final encounter between them i mean that's honestly the the smartest thing they could do when it relates to footage being shown how they uh address it in the in the uh interviews press junkers that they know undoubtedly will have just setting this up is like a big fight event because that's what it's gonna be at least i hope i hope michael and J michael and Lori touch in this movie and it's not just something brief i hope they have something that's very reminiscent of what we got in 2018 maybe a little bit more brutal as well where these two just collide and they touch um and shout out to you uh t money is what i'll call you i'll call you t money <laughs> uh you sent me this update over on twitter so i appreciate you big time and as far as going back to the teaser and what could be in it they could also show glimpses of what's going on with allison nelson what's going on with uh maybe her trauma and how she's dealt with the loss of her mother her father maybe she's also living with her grandmother now you can get caught up with Lindsay, see how her life has been impacted maybe see how her life was prior to the events 
of Halloween Kills. Like, glimpses of that could be teased in the trailer, teaser, whatever we get. While, of course, we are also shown new characters, shown cool setups that relate to kills, but don't actually see the kills happen. And maybe also do a better job at just hiding who does and does not die, since I know a lot of people really honed in on that Vicky closet scenario or sequence shown in the Halloween 2018 trailer. And then what did she do? She ultimately died anyway. So I think they might want to just do a better job at hiding certain things because I get where a lot of people are coming from when they say teasers show too much these days. It, it really comes down to how much you are also are rewatching it because while I will say, yes, there were trailers back in the day where if you watch them, you wouldn't be able to tell the narrative. Us as the audience, knowing how trailers are, if we're out here watching them over and over, we're to blame too. We're part of the problem. If we're someone who does not want to have every bit of the movie known before we watch it well knowing how trailers operate these days and what you want them to be like but they just are not like that you need to then have some discipline in regards to how you choose to watch it how many times you choose to watch it and how many times i guess you decide to study it or not because the trailers these days they do give away a lot i i won't say that that's not true it's true for a lot of films so I think they should just do their best job to kind of make you feel that this is going to be a big, big event between Michael and Lori. Show glimpses of what is to come, but don't show them touching. Save that for the movie. Now, of course, if we get two trailers, they might just blow everything and show them touching in the in the final trailer. I just think it would be very good to tease what we kind of all feel is coming tease us give us that uh mouth-watering sensation with your teaser showing glimpses of everyone building it up even the characters that are talking can build it up there's certain bits of dialogue placed in this teaser about Lori, about michael and it's done in a way that creates this vibe of oh these two are going to clash and then you have to wait to see the movie to see how the clash turns out don't show anything of course in it that indicates that Lori's dying that indicates that michael's dying and then say oh well you have to go see the movie to get your answer we already have a feeling that one of the two are going to die anyway so i don't think you should even tease that but just give us a vibe that screams michael and Lori are going to have a epic battle and you need to go out and see this movie when it releases in october because this could be the end we know it's the end of david's iteration but not the end of the shape i doubt it let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video